<laughs> oh yeah. Make sure that one goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to show you the technique for a slower but very spinny backhand loop. The heavy spin rotation can cause a lot of problems for your opponent. They will often block the ball long off the end of the table or they will return the ball a little bit higher giving you an easy attacking opportunity. The tips in this video come from Emma Haradine. Emma has loads of playing and coaching experience and has won multiple national titles. Plus, she has a super backhand loop technique. Let me pass you over to Emma. So I think in the women's game, one of the things that can really um, win us point is a very a slow, spinny backhand loop opened up from the push. That's the one. <laughs> Good spin. The reason we try and get extra spin on it is the spin is going to hopefully increase the chance of it hitting on the other side of the table because the top spin will bring the ball down but also that extra height and a little slower ball also creates a little bit of indecisiveness for your opponent. So they're not sure whether to come forward and block it or take it a little bit late. Good spin. If your opponent then is able to block it, if it's got a good amount of top spin on, hopefully the next ball will come up a little bit higher for you and you can then finish the point. Oh, yeah. So if a, a push is coming into my backhand with some, a little bit of, of backspin, what I would do is I would make sure that the, the knees a little bit of knee bend so you generate some power from the legs and the knees. slight twist of the shoulders. The power then comes from the knees. We need to drop our bat below the height of the ball so we can counteract that backspin. And as we generate up, we push up from our legs. We use the elbow as a kind of a pivot or an anchor. We brush up the back of the ball. And as we make contact with the ball, if we can use a flick of the wrist to generate that extra top spin. So I'm going for a little bit more arc, a bit more height over the net, but also I'm trying to get the ball a little bit deeper, kind of aiming for that, that last third of the table. A good point, as we know in table tennis, is always the crossover point, is almost kind of just to the right hip of your player if they're right-handed. Good spin. Depending on the player you're playing, um, if they've got a weaker forehand, I might try and go down the line. Yes! It's easy, the most common shot I think is to open up cross court, because it's a more natural shot. But if you can develop an open up shot that goes down the line, it can also get your opponent a little bit by surprise, because they're kind of anticipating a cross court backhand. So as long as we can vary it, I would probably say kind of right hip or even out wide to the forehand. Yes, that's beautiful placement. Yes. A typical response is usually a block. Um, so the block shot, if I put enough topspin on it, it can be an easy point because it's blocked off the end. Um, if I can get, get enough depth on it and they do block it back, it'll get that little bit of height so I can try and win, I can try and counteract trying to do a counter top spin for a winning shot in the next one. <laughs> well, you're not looking to win the point from that open up loop, you're looking like a bit of a game of chess. 
you're kind of playing strategically to try and get a better ball for a winning shot off the next one. If you do win it off your backhand loop, great, but you're not necessarily looking to win the point from your opening up backhand loop. Oh. Some great tips there from Emma. She really does have a lovely fluid backhand loop technique. If this is a shot you don't really play at the moment or something you're trying to develop, then I think Emma's technique is a really good example to try and copy. It's very spinny, it's very reliable, and it's very effective. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Emma for sharing her tips on the backhand loop. I'll have more videos featuring Emma in the future. So if you like what she had to say, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other videos. See you all again soon. Bye bye.